All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. How many times do we hear stories about somebody who, you know, from the outside it looks like they have it all, uh, but of course inside it's a very uh, different dark tale? Well, we have uh, one of those tales revealed in a, in a great new book, and it's called Fast Girl, A Life Spent Running from Madness by Susie Favor Hamilton, three-time Olympian. She was, uh, you know, the darling of American track and field, and uh, she had it all until uh, she um, uh, fell at the Sydney Games in uh, 2000, and and then all oh, everything else started to fall around her. Susie joins us. Hello, Susie. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. Well, it's my pleasure. So, how did someone who was living the life that I just described um, turn into a high-priced uh, escort in Las Vegas? Well, obviously, you know, a life can look perfect from the outside. And, you know, a lot of times with mental illness, it's something that you can't see. And you may say, oh, my gosh, I, like you did, I, I thought her life was perfect. And she kept that facade up. Um, but, you know, growing up, I had a lot of pressure excelling so quickly in my sport. I felt I had this need to win for everybody, to make everybody happy. So, so when you when when you fell, uh, was that kind of the turning point when your when your you know career? You, I mean, kind of ended and and took a turn for the worse. That the it all manifested itself. Yeah, definitely. My spiral downfall was in two thousand. Now, the year before, in it was nine nine of ninety nine. My brother had died by suicide, and he was bipolar. When I went into the Sydney Olympics in 2000, I felt this enormous pressure to win in his honor, to win for my state, to win for Nike, to win for everybody. And when I saw that I wasn't going to win, I was actually going to come in last place. It happened at such a split second. I told myself with 100 meters to go after everyone passed me just to fall. And I fell and I mean I did such I was such a good actress when I fell. But at that moment, you know, that was the point where the spiral was starting to go down. What, what year were you celebrating your 20th uh, wedding anniversary with your husband in Vegas? So you fast forward, that was 2000. Now you fast forward to 2012. All right, so 12 years later, you, you hired this, uh, this hooker for a threesome. And, well, and, yeah. and boom, it hits you that... This is what you want to do. Well, I'm, before, I'm, not, get ahead. I'm just going to go back for two months before the um, escort. So two months before the escort, I was misdiagnosed with depression. They put me on a drug, Zoloft, very common drug, which obviously helps with depression and um, actually takes away sex drive. In my case, they gave me Zoloft, and they didn't know my history of mental illness and they didn't know I was bipolar at the time and you put Zoloft and bipolar together and in many cases you get hypersexuality and for me two months before this threesome I was gung-ho I was already really changing and it was more my idea to do the threesome and so we hired an escort it was an amazing night and my life changed dramatically after that one and how, how long did you uh, did you live the life of an escort after that so from that moment from the threesome to six months later it was a progression a sexual exploration that I had before I became an escort my husband knew about this he had been my only partner my entire life and we kind of discussed having an open relationship so I, I had a green light to go but he honestly thought it would maybe be two or three times and I would be done. But I got sucked into this world um, that I found incredible. Became the escort after I um, had met people at bars. I then hired a gigolo. Light bulb moment was with the gigolo when I felt, wait a minute, shouldn't I get paid for having sex? And it just led to me trying to, you know, I'm well, like, I'm going to be an escort just once. Well, folks, it it's, it's all how she recovered, how Susie Favor Hamilton uh, recovered to where she is now, uh, how she got to where she was in more detail. It's all in Fast Girl, A Life Spent Running from Madness. Check it out. Susie, thank you very much. Appreciate you sharing with us.
As you may know, Dr. Ben Carson has been uh, taken to task, very sharply criticized for saying that uh, some Muslim, Muslims, certain Muslims, should never be president of the United States. Now, he did not say any Muslim, but of course the media has attacked. He's now released an urgent letter about this, and it's available to the public on Newsmax.com. It's exclusive to us, and it's important that you take the time to read it. So go to Newsmax.com, and at the top of the page, click on Read Dr. Carson's Urgent Letter. You'll find out why he's taking a stand on this issue and why he will not be bullied. Again, read Dr. Carson's Urgent Letter on Newsmax.com. Do it now.